Hi guys, my name is Valerie and this is a channel about America. Today I want to tell you about kind of degrees which you can get while studying in a community college. We're going to talk about AS degree, AA degree and AAS degree. So what are the differences between those? Which one do you need to choose for a future education? So if you're interested, keep on watching. So in general, I can say that there are three types of degrees which you can get at a community college. AA degree, Associate of Art, AS degree, Associate of Science, and AAS degree, Associate of Applied Science. What are the main difference between those? AA and AS degrees are transfer degrees, which means after completing those, you're supposed to go to a university, so start your bachelor program, and not start, but continue from the third year of education. So basically, you're studying at a community college for two years and after you complete your AS or AA degree you can transfer to a third year of education at university. AS and AA degrees are built the way that you gain all the needed knowledge and you take those classes which will let you smoothly transition to a university. So if you're interested in getting a bachelor degree in the United States those are the two diplomas you should consider. But what is the main difference between AA and AS degree? As I said before AS degree is an associate of science degree so if you plan to major into something like math astronomy biology chemistry etc yeah that's something you should consider as degree is something you should consider because as degree is kind of more science degree so whatever you're gonna keep studying in your university I uh, have to be related to science degree on the other side a a degree or associate of art degree it relates to history art theater, English, psychology, philosophy, etc. So for example, if you're planning to attend a university and get a bachelor degree in business, AA degree is something you need to consider while studying in a community college. But if you are more in tech degree, so you want to do some computer science, for example, or you want to do engineering, then AS degree is something you should to consider. Guys, if you like the video and if you think that information which I'm sharing here is useful for you, please do not forget to subscribe and click the like button when you open a college website and you go to AS or AA degrees and you want to see which classes you're gonna take there some of the websites not gonna tell you exactly which classes you're gonna have to take because all AA and AS degrees are gonna be built specifically for you lots of the times because all, all AA and AS degrees will include different uh, classes depending on which program are you planning to attend to at university. So at first you kind of have to decide which field you want to study at university and after you go to a college and you're like hey guys that's a program I want to uh, attend in a university can you please uh, help me to select a like perfect AS or AA degree which I should take here. That's why after completing the degree you won't have any uh, I don't know leftovers and you won't have to take any extra classes to catch up at university. You complete two years here and after you smoothly transfer to your third year of education in university. Also sometimes those AA and AS degrees can be built specifically for you. What does it mean? It means that if you found some I don't know some unique program at a university and most of the colleges for example don't have that program listed in their AS or AA degrees um, programs uh, then you can just talk to the advisor and be like hey guys this is a program I want to study to university this is the classes I supposed to take can you please help me build my own AA uh, or AS degree here at the college so I can smoothly transition to the university and that's actually something which colleges do they will gladly help you most of the colleges I'm pretty sure they will but definitely all colleges have different rules so you need to like plan in ahead don't leave it uh, up to the last minute but that's also an option because when you think about studying in the United States you need to understand that when you apply to a certain program it doesn't mean that you have the same uh, schedule as everyone else does who is attending the same program for example me and you can both go and get a as degree right associate of science degree but we all might have different plan regarding other future education at the university so we all might actually taking and completing different AS degrees and even if we do take the same 
exam the same AS degree and for example we want to study at the same university and we want to uh, study at the same program we still can build our schedule on our own most of the colleges give you that option so when you go to a college and you start your AS degree uh, they give you a list of classes which you need to complete but it's up to you how to build this schedule so you for example can take English math and I don't know chemistry class uh, at this quarter and I will take a business accounting and uh, I don't know computer science class in that quarter that's probably the reason why all those AS and AA degrees are so adjustable and that's why they can build those AS and AA degrees specifically for you because uh, you do not mess up with anyone else schedule for example they don't have like that class or group of people who all start uh, taking AS class now everyone has to attend the same classes and if you are the one who's like well you know what that I, I actually need to take a little bit different classes because uh, I am going to attend another program at university. You're not messing up with anyone else's schedules because you're on your own. Everyone here is on their own and you uh, create a schedule specifically for you and colleges help you to do so. Why should you choose AA or AS degree instead of going straight to a university in the United States? Well, there are two reasons. First of all, no, there are actually more reasons, but I'm going to tell you the two main reasons here. First of all, it's way cheaper. Studying at a community college as an international student is going to save you a hell of money. One year of education at a university might cost you, I would say, $30,000 in general. At a community college, it goes down to $10,000. So you're already saving good chunk of money I would say and second reason is a study in a community college is way easy than to study at the university that's why if there is your first experience of studying in English for example you're coming from another country where English is not your native language and I'm pretty sure that educational system in your country is way different from educational system in the United States that's why it's gonna be a little bit difficult to adjust at first and college lets you to do that easily it's not that complicated to study in the college and after studying two years in college you can easily transfer to university and keep studying there because a uh, programs at the universities they're a little bit more difficult and um, you have to take more classes during the quarter during the semester and, and it might feel like overwhelming if you just started that's why I would say going to a college it's going to be like a perfect transition to a university life and now let's move to another degree which is AAS degree associate of applied science unlike the first two degrees which I talked about this degree does not mean that you have to study at uh, the university after that after completing this two-year degree you can start working right away uh, the program of AAS degree is built a little bit different than the program from AS and AA degree like those this degree is gonna have like the specific list of classes which you have to take for example you're going to take a uh, AAS degree in online marketing and social media architect all students who are attending that program gonna take the same classes it's not gonna be adjustable it's not gonna be like uh, you come to college and you say well you know guys I'm actually want to work in Microsoft and they also require students to have that and that skills most of these colleges will not adjust your AAS program to your needs because it already has the list of classes you have to take. But there are also that little part of that AAS degree which has like an optional courses. It usually, in my case, it included three classes and I could have replaced it with something else if I liked and if my advisor allowed me. So I was taking that online marketing and social media architect program. So I'm pretty sure that I could not have replaced a human resources to yoga class because it wouldn't relate to my degree at all. But if I came to my advisor and I was like, well, you know what, what if we replace human resources class to um, um, I don't know digital photography class because digital photography is something which relates to my degree and that could have been adjusted so unlike AA and AS degrees AAS degrees give you all set of skills which you can use to find a job after that it means that you actually ready to start working in a field of course AAS degrees are kind of limited I mean you cannot become a doctor after AAS degree right because everyone knows that to be a doctor you have to to definitely get your bachelor degree, a PhD degree, etc., and uh, finish your internship and stuff. So, of course, you won't find all programs 
available in AAS degree, but there are still plenty of options. And especially if you're considering going to a college as your second education, I think that this is an awesome opportunity. You study only for two years, you get your all set of skills which you need to apply towards your future job, and voila, uh, you have your degree and you can start looking for a job now. So just to sum up, there are three degrees which community colleges offer in the United States. AS degree, Associate of Science, is a transfer degree, and after completing that degree, you uh, have to uh, study at the university. AA degree, the same, but it is Associate of Arts, so the industry is more related to history, uh, psychology, English, theater, etc. And AAS degree is not a transfer degree. AAS degree means that after completing these two years of education, you can start working right away. Also, I want to add here one more thing. When I say that you have to go to university after completing your AA or AS degrees, it doesn't mean that you have to. It doesn't mean that, I don't know, go or die. No, it's up to you. But in general, uh, you won't be able to start working having your AA or AS degrees because you won't have that set of skills needed for most of the positions. Because while you're going to be studying at the college, you won't get all that um, necessary skills which you need for your future job. But at the same time, after completing your AAS degree, uh, you still can go to a university so it doesn't mean that if you complete AAS degree now you cannot transition to university no it's not like that you also can do it but the transition won't be as easy as it would be if you completed AAS or AA degree in this case you also have to go to your advisor and talk to him or her regarding how to do that right because you might have take extra classes to catch up and be able to transition to a third year of education at university. Because while taking your AAS degree at the college, you might have taken some extra classes which are actually not needed for your university degree. And you might not have taken some classes which university would require. So still transition is available, it's just not going to be as easy and smooth as if you would completed AA or AS degrees. So I hope guys you liked this video, I hope it was useful for you. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments and as always I wish you have a good day or a good night. Bye!